Hello, it's B Rose, and I have been living in China for three years. So I thought I would tell you all 11 things I love about living in Beijing, China. The first being the public parks. The public parks are wonderful to go to and totally gorgeous. Right now, we are in Jingshan Park. As you can see, we are directly adjacent to the Forbidden City. Wow, that view is incredible. Now, other parks might have Tan in the name, and that means temple. The park was literally built around a temple, or Hai, which means sea. That means there will be water inside of the park. Jingshan Park means Prospect Hill. It is a place where you can see the Forbidden City. Number two, mobile payments. You can leave the house with just your cell phone. No wallet required. You can use Alipay or WeChat or even leave the phone behind and just pay with your face. You have a little barcode that comes up, you scan it or you scan someone else's barcode and you pay for it. Done. So easy, so simple, so cool. Number three, convenient transportation. As you can see behind me is the Yong'an Li subway station. You can hop on and go anywhere in the city that you want to go in just a snap. Also, you can take a bicycle if from the exit of your subway station, your destination is rather far. Just hop on, pedal your way through. afraid when I came to Beijing that I wouldn't have the opportunity to ride a bicycle because it's something that I love to do and did a lot back home. But actually anywhere you go in the city there is a share bike waiting for you to grab and go. Number four, the old architecture like pagodas, temples, or where we are now, hutongs, which are small alleyways full of courtyards. Maybe one person owns it or several people share. With the new. As you can see behind me is the CBD. Yeah. Uh, did you hear that? He can do the beeping of the bike. <sighs> Number five. Safety. Behind me is a camera that shoots in 1080p and no matter what time it is of the day, I always feel safe because these cameras are documenting everything and with high definition. Number six, the food. The possibilities in Beijing are endless for what to eat. I personally love to grab some international food here and as well, of course, all of the Chinese dishes from all over China. Number seven, reasonable rent. When I first moved here, I rented a one bedroom apartment that was lofted that I absolutely adored. It was $714 and I split that with my boyfriend at the time. That's an amazing price. 
But if you want something a little bit bigger, that's maybe two bedrooms or more. For example, I rented a two bedroom as well. It was 1,500 every month. Now behind me is one of the main agencies in Beijing, Lianjia, and they own one of the most popular apps to rent from called Zeroom. Number eight, WeChat. If you want to connect with friends, you don't exchange phone numbers, you exchange WeChats. So either you scan your friend or they scan you and then you're connected to chat or to see their moments they post about their life. And as well, you can even use WeChat to pay for things. It's like everything all bundled up in one. Number nine is Taobao. You can buy anything in the world that you want on Taobao and everything is super, super cheap. Some goods you can even get the next day. And if you miss home and want to buy international imported goods, you can find that on there too. Taobao is wonderful. I'm addicted, absolutely. Number 10, cheap planes and trains. I love to travel, so I'm always trying to find the best rates to fly or take a train. And in China, the prices are really, really affordable, especially if it's the off period. The national holidays is very expensive because that's when everybody wants to travel, but the off periods, it's really, really affordable. Number 11, I saved the best for last. I met the love of my life in China. I was looking for my one in a million in the States, but actually I found my one in a billion in China. Well, that's really all. I really hope you liked this video. If you did, like it, comment what else you want to see, and please, please, please subscribe. Thank you again for watching. Bye-bye.